Hey everybody, it's Camille. I have a pretty awesome video today that you might want to listen to if uh, you are concerned with traffic getting to your shop and um, that traffic converting to sales. I am just a small business owner, an Etsy shop owner, who wants to help other Etsy shop owners um, navigate Etsy so that they can focus on you know, the passion for their craft as opposed to worrying if they're going to rank that first page. And something I know that people are very confused about is what the heck a long tail keyword is. So we're going to get into that right now. I'm going to show you what that looks like, um, give you an example, and um, show you how to apply that to your listing so it comes naturally to you and it isn't. A burden on you wondering what the heck your next product listing is gonna look like so let's get started and let's get on Etsy right now okay so we're on Etsy.com right now um, the example I always use is simply someone who sells wool sweaters my computer is going nuts right now. I am so sorry if you can hear that. Okay, so I don't look at it. That's cheating. Um, so I always use the example of somebody who sells wool sweaters because it's been a trendy thing the, lately in 2021, kind of backing from December. Um, so I figure everybody should resonate with this. So let's look up wool sweater and I'm going to show you if this, okay, say wool sweater is the only thing you have on your product listing, on, on your title. This is everything you are ranking for. Wool sweater, wool sweater women, wool sweating, wool sweater, <laughs> wool sweater men. Wool sweater vintage, wool sweater mittens, baby, dress, dress women, jacket, knit fabric, Iceland. I'm going to look at that later because I have no idea what that means. But you are trying to rank under all of these things because your general term is wool sweater. Etsy doesn't know what that means. Etsy doesn't know what your wool sweater looks like. Um, at least not yet. I don't know how they're going to, you know, configure AI in there. But, um... This is everything you're ranking for. You are getting bur buried under women, men, vintage, mittens, baby, dress. Um, these, I don't even know if I would consider long tail keywords because they're also very general. Um, oh, also, by the way, I didn't even tell you what the heck a long tail keyword is. A long tail keyword is a phrase of keywords that is meant to it's meant to bring your ideal customer to your listing your ideal customer who is looking for your exact thing that you make and that buyer is ready to buy right now they are being specific and they're ready to put your wool sweater on their body um so that is what a long tail keyword is. So let's look here. All right. Let me think of a wool sweater right now, specifically wool sweaters with like strawberries and stuff like that are really in right now. So let's look up wool sweater with strawberries. All right. I've already looked this up, so that's going to be the first one that's up. But, okay, so let's look here. You have cardigans, cardigans, but you also have sweater vests, which isn't really connected. Cardigan, an older vintage pullover sweater, another sweater vest. You have oranges, you have strawberries, strawberries, a dog sweater. All of these are on the first page. You even have a tea kettle cozy. These are all first page ranks at the moment. They're all very vast. So while wool sweater with strawberries 
is specific and it is a long tail keyword, let's look at a listing that really has pretty much their entire title is a list of uh, long tail keywords. We'll look here at hers. Okay. Love it. Super cute. Chunky. Blah, 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 blah. Really cute. All right. It seems she has one type of sweater right here and another type of sweater right here. And it seems that she might offer other colors. Who knows? We'll go back to the first one. So let's look at her listing because it is uh, chef's kiss. All right. Ooh, I dropped something. So we're going to take a look at this first one says strawberry red and white sweater for women. It is a woman wearing a strawberry red and white sweater. Very specific. Exactly probably what somebody is looking for if they like a more minimalist look. Um, their second long tail keyword is warm soft strawberry cardigan. Soft sweater. It's not an itchy wool uh, sweater. In fact, she doesn't even have wool on here so i'm not sure if it oh it is it is wools all right it's probably in her keywords okay we have strawberry design chunky cardigan women it is a cardigan it is very chunky these are specific details to the sweater she didn't just bunch it and <laughs> and say strawberry red and white chunky sweater chunky cardigan sweater for women she kind of broke it up a little bit um which kind of gives room for different kinds of searches which we need to keep in mind and then the last one is oversized sweater women it is oversized another description so this listing is perfect we could look at her description over here she has all her details i'm sorry if you could hear everything in the background i apologize so Etsy has already said that things in the description aren't necessarily uh, ranking for Etsy SEO. So, yeah, I mean, you might as well have the keywords in there, but it's not your end all as opposed to your title and your tags. We can't really see your tags because, well, I mean, you could kind of see some. So she's obviously probably put clothing, women's clothing, sweaters, cardigans, and red, white cardigan, which are very vague. I'm not sure if she put those. So as we look at these long tail keyword phrases, they're an entire like sentence pretty much. Very specific, exactly, exactly describing your product. Why is this important? I already told you. You want that ideal customer to come to your Etsy shop because they are ready to buy at this moment. If they're looking for something super, you know, um, niche and specific. So how do we put long tail keywords in our tags, especially when we only have about 20 characters to use? I totally get it. Um, we'll continue to use hers. She can use anything from strawberry red, uh, she could put strawberry cardigan if all these fit, first of all, <laughs> she could put, don't be afraid to repeat certain things, strawberry chunky, um, <laughs> oversized sweater is kind of vague, but we should put it in there. Um, oversized cardigan you can put, I don't know if women's cardigan will go a long way but we can absolutely try it does not hurt you get 13 tags to use um warm strawberry strawberry cardigan etsy's smart okay etsy's gonna know they're gonna know um what you mean they're gonna know what the person's searching for and they're gonna end up putting it up there somewhere regardless if it goes on the first page or the second page, blah, 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 blah. You can put all of these options in your tags. But yeah, Etsy's smart. They're going to know what you're talking about. They're going to know how to configure all of those tags together and 
if somebody searched one of those or something that they know is, you know, alluding to your kind of listing, it'll do it. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't be too stressed about it. Um, especially when something is trending like this, like these type of clothing, I don't think it would get buried under vintage clothing. Um, cause vintage clothing is even more specific, but the, okay. Long tail keywords pertaining to your niche. This is such a beautiful thing for people with very condensed down niches. I totally get it. I sell Christian calligraphy stickers. So I want to tell you that long tail keywords, being that they're so specific, you cannot be discouraged by it because wouldn't you rather have your ideal customer ready to buy exactly what they were looking for or you know think that they were looking for or would you rather have random buyers sporadic buyers probably not appreciative buyers if we're going to be completely honest who might give you very underwhelming reviews and just not appreciate you as an artist we don't want that we want to aim for the ideal customer not just rando traffic that everybody's gonna see and nothing's gonna turn into a conversion that would not help our shop that would not make us money um so this is why long tail keywords are important it really makes you unique in a way it ranks you for very unique listings um, and searches and we really just have to look at etsy as a search engine so what is the best way to figure out what the heck how to describe your listing i want you to literally look at your listing and write it down say it to yourself i don't know type it out exactly what describes your product do you sell i'm obsessed with these so i will say salt and pepper salt and pepper rings yeah engagement ring specifically all right i couldn't tell you which one i could find that's in my cart but <laughs> um we'll look at these especially when pertaining to jewelry per se jewelry is a very broad niche that is something you want to be very specific in. You want to have how many carats are in your diamond ring. You want to have what kind of ring it is. It is it just a midi ring or is it an engagement ring? Is it a wedding band? Is it gold? Is it silver? Is it what style is it? This listing also does a very, very good job at that. They put exactly what it is on their very first um, phrase right here on the very first thing of their title and you can see that is this the one that i'm looking at yes okay this is what shows exactly right here 14k salt and pepper diamond ring and then engagement you can kind of see a little bit that's important because you don't get very video <laughs> you don't get very many um characters that show first thing off the bat people want to know what they're looking at and if it's the exact same thing that they typed in and then afterwards, we can put our engagement ring, pentagon diamond ring, 14K pentagon gold ring, pair art deco ring, deco, which is the style, I'm guessing, of, you know, what it's reminiscent of. Natural diamond ring, which it is. It is a more natural diamond ring. It has carbon in it. Um, this, they literally looked exactly at their product obviously knew what they made it out of 14 carat salt and pepper diamond and it is for engagements and it is a deco ring they looked at it and exactly knew what their product was i want to see if i could find like a not great one look at this i would never put 40 percent off sale i'm sorry i would not couldn't do it 
um, that's not really going to help you because Etsy already pushes out your sale. You don't really need to describe it. None of these are, that could be it. None of these are separated. It just looks like one big word, salt and pepper kite, diamond, 14 gates, all gold ring, engagement, curve, wedding, diamonds, ring, Christmas gift ring. And it looks like <laughs> a wish description. We don't want that. This is a specific size. I don't know if they, yeah. Okay. Not a perfect listing. We want to separate these long tails. Um, when you're looking at it. Once you kind of get all of those words written down or typed out of what your dis what the description of your product looks like, then we can start looking at how okay, how do I mix all these words together and how do I not really repeat words on the title part? The tags it doesn't matter. You can totally, you know, repeat engagement ring if you wanted to or ring, you know because those are things that people type. Um, the title is for people who type in that specific thing and then they can see, oh, this is the exact carrot uh, size. Is that what it is? Carrot size that I'm looking for. Or this is the exact style ring that I'm looking for. Those are important things to see on these very first, you know, words right here. So that is how you make your description. All right. So I hope that this really helped you figure out what a long tail keyword is and gave you some examples if you're more of a visual person like I am. Just be specific, guys. Tell us what your product is. Be proud of it. Be confident in it. Tell us exactly what that product is in your title and in your tags. Your tags are background, all right? Your tags are okay to repeat keywords in there. Um, it's a, In fact, it's beneficial, so do that when you can. At least put as many different words you can in front of it with the character spacing that you get. But that title, whatever your specific ring is, if you, or your specific blue bull <laughs> strawberry cardigan oversized sweater, that is a long tail, long, long, long keyword phrase. Um, whatever that is, put that in the very first phrase of your title. And then you can continue to separate more long tails after that, just like we saw in the wool sweater listing. All right. I hope that helps you guys. I hope um, to see what you do with your listings. I'd love to see how you fix your listings. I am fascinated by it. Um, if you need help, I can always bounce ideas off of you. Uh, I will be posting every Tuesday and Friday from now on. Um, so if you want to stick around for that, you can like this video, you can subscribe, you can hit the notification bell. So I will see you in the next one. Toodles!